Hey everyone, I hope um, everyone's having a good day. Uh, so today our webinar is on Homestars, uh, uh, which is a website or an application that can be used to find home professionals in Canada exclusively. So this does not work in the US, but we will talk about some alternatives uh, for that later in the presentation. So the table of contents, uh, first I'll give a brief introduction on Homestars, then the features of Homestars, uh, how to navigate their website, uh, American alternatives, and then the live demo. So introduction, what is Homestars? It is a Canadian company created in 2006 by Nancy Peterson. Homestars provides reviews on home improvement professionals. Homeowners in Canada are, are the authors of the reviews. So they're the ones who wrote the reviews. And home improvement professionals include renovators, repairmen, contractors, retailers, etc. So there's a lot of uh, categories on the website, which we will see in the live demo. Uh, so yeah, this slide shows some of the available services. Uh, so you can see there are uh, about like 50, no wait, 30 uh, services visible here. And there are a few more too. So uh, there are many services they offer and you can choose any one you want. So the purpose of Homestars, uh, they provide a free, free, uh, free service to help homeowners find verified and community, community reviewed home service professionals for, for their home improvement needs. <coughs> Pros of Homestars. So many customers find reasonable prices quickly. Uh, it is very easy to find professionals. Recommended home improvement professionals are friendly and helpful. A variety of different services are available for numerous different home improvement projects. Cons of home stars. So some customers have found that they are unable to contact the professionals after the improvement is complete for further assistance. So once they have worked with someone, uh, they have trouble contacting them sometimes and then it is difficult to report any customer service complaints. And the contractors who have worked with Homestars in the past feel that the company can be dishonest. Homestars features. So uh, the tools you need to hire uh, are these three tools you see here. There's trust met metrics. Uh, so before hiring, you can check each company's profile for a high star, star score and a verification badge. You can read and share reviews. So uh, under this option, you can look at the reviews of different companies. You can read them, or you could also add your own review. Uh, you can find pros in your area. So you can enter uh, the lo your location, like your postal code, and then you could enter what service you need, like plumbing or electricity, and it'll help you find the professionals uh, in those fields in your area. So trust metrics. So the first feature, uh, under that is uh, trust metrics. Uh, so there's something called a verified badge, which Homestar gives to uh, certain businesses. And uh, they give them after the business uh, or the professionals uh, pass a vigorous screening test. So a star score is given out of 100%. And you can see in this photo, the company or the professional in this photo has a 98% star score, uh, which is great because uh, it's out of 100 and then the reviews option. So you can read the reviews of the people who have hired the professionals before. And if they left a review behind, you can read it uh, and you can decide whether or not you wanna hire uh, the professional. So accessing Homestars, uh, if you're on a PC or a laptop, you can just go to their website and the link is here. Uh, a fellow volunteer could share this presentation with you and then you can also access this link. Uh, or if you're on a phone or a tablet of some sort, uh, uh, it doesn't matter if it's an Android or an Apple device, the application is available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And you can type Homestars and install the application, which is free to install. So navigating the website. So uh, at the top of the screen, you can click on Browse uh, Categories, which is not visible in this picture, but I will show it in the live demo. And there are a ton, uh, there are tons of categories there, like roofing, decorations, uh, like plumbing, 
a lot of things really. And you can pick the one you want, or you could type the category into the search bar. So there is a search bar too. And it looks sort of like the one in this photo where you can type the category. So in this photo, you can see someone has typed garden and then a location, you can write uh, your location. So it says North Vancouver here uh, uh, and it could be uh, whatever location you want. Uh, and then you can click on a company name to learn more. So once you hit the search option, it shows all the results, like the closest companies near you. And then you can pick one you like. So under the company, you can see their star rating. So this one's 94%. Uh, and this one's 92%. So you can pick one you like, and you can just click on their names uh, to open their entire profile. So from the company's page, you can see an overview, photos, reviews, and their profile. So when you open that, for example, the person opened the West Coast lawns and gardens. You can see there is an overview tab here. So this will actually have everything like the star rating. And if you scroll down a bit, we'll see the reviews too. Uh, or you could directly click on this reviews tab here and it'll take you down there. Uh, you could click the photos tab to view photos uh, that people have left there. And you can also directly view their uh, profile. And once you have done all that, once you have gone into it and look at, uh, looked at the reviews and customer satisfaction, you can hit the get a quote option. Or if you have already hired these people before and you want to uh, leave a review behind, you can use the write a review option. So read and share reviews. So uh, if you click on the write a review option, like I mentioned before, you can see, you would see something similar to this. Uh, you could write the company's name. Uh, you could give like the star rating here so you can see how satisfied are you out of one to five stars and how likely are you to recommend this company one to five stars? So you can kind of leave a rating like that. Uh, you will have to give some of the information that they request, like the review title, uh, the postal code, uh, the approximate cost. So if they worked uh, uh, for you and how much you have to pay them. And then you have to click on this checkbox that, that says I pay for the service. And then below that, there is an option that says you need to leave a review in over uh, 15 words, I think. Um, alternatives for Americans and Canadians. So since HomeStars is only a Canadian exclusive website or application, you know, we're going to talk about some that work in the United States too. So Bark is uh, one of those applications or and this has a website too. So you can find home professionals in your area online. Services include gardening, accounting, counseling, cleaning, personal training, and much more. So you can answer a few, few relevant questions uh, to be connected to a professional. And this is available in both Canada and the United States and many other countries too. So uh, if you're uh, in any other country except for like Canada and the United States, uh, you can look into this too. Uh, TaskRabbit. So TaskRabbit is another company that's available in both uh, in the United States and some Canadian cities. So uh, it has a free application and it also has a website that lets you hire freelancing handy people to help you with things around the house. So their services include grocery shopping and delivery, furniture assembly, painting, snow removal, and then there's lawn mowing and stuff too. So uh, they have a bunch of options and it's, uh, you can easily book contactless same day service too. So that is also a great feature. Uh, I fix it. So, uh, this has uh, this service also has a free website and an app full of repair guides and solution forums. So it includes guides for fixing electronics, household devices, medical gadgets, vehicles, and more. It also has a store where you can buy many helpful tools and parts. So this is more of a do-it-yourself kind of thing where you have a website with guides uh, or an application with guides that you could use. And you can see in this photo, there's a guide for inserting a SIM card in a newer phone. And now the live demonstration. So first, I'm going to go ahead and do a live. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a live demo of HomeStars first. So I'm going to hide this. Type HomeStars. And uh, the first result is their website. So I'm going to open this. and. Uh, this is what the home page uh, looks like. 
uh, I, I'm already signed in here, but uh, if you if I log out, uh, you can either log in or sign up. So if you're new and you want to use this, you can just uh, sign up using Google, which is what I did. Or you could add, do it this way, where you have to give your display name, your email address, and you need to create a password. So yeah, so you could log in like that. So uh, the browse categories option that it was mentioned in the presentation is right here on the top left hand side. So if I click on this option, uh, it takes me to this page, which shows tons of categories here. So if I scroll down, you can see uh, there are so many things. And if you don't want to go about looking uh, for a category you want to choose, you can just directly use the search option. Uh, so the search option here, this is what service do you need? So say I need uh, Windows, for example, and I could put my postal code in. I'm just going to write Ottawa. It should work, and I could hit the get quotes option. Okay, it doesn't accept postal code. Fine. That's weird. All right, get quotes. Uh, so it asks you what uh, what do you need done. So uh, since I chose Windows. Uh, there's a bunch of options here, like um, doors or windows, skylight and stuff. Uh, and uh, this is one way to go about looking for a quote, but you can use another, another way too. So if I go back to the website and go back under browse uh, categories and I choose, uh, let's say, let's say decks, for example, and this is what it looked like in the presentation. So I'm going to show it this way. So uh, say I want to get some deck work done, I guess. Uh, you can see under the categories, uh, there's decks here and the location is Toronto. So I can change that uh, to maybe Ottawa and uh, it, sh it shows uh, the search results and you can see their star rating here. And I'm gonna zoom this in a bit. It is a 96%. You can see 395 reviews, which is uh, nice. And it has, it also has an award for the best uh, of the best in uh, 2022. Uh, so this year, and if I click on this, I can view their uh, profile and stuff. So you can see under overview, uh, there's a star score, there's uh, ratings, reviews. You can see the awards uh, these people have uh, that Homestars gave them. And then you can also search for reviews uh, here. So it's, it shows reviews for history uh, degree decks. So that's the name of this uh, company. So uh, you can sort it by most relevant, most recent, uh, lowest to highest, highest to lowest. So if you really want to look at reviews, you should probably start with lowest to highest because the lowest ones are generally the ones that speak the truth. So uh, you can see this person ha here has uh, his very unsatisfied. He's left a zero out of 10 review. And you can uh, read what's written here. And on the side here, you can see uh, these people have their phone number and their website link. So they have their own website too. So if you want to go through that, you can just hit click on this link. Or you, if you want to call them and talk to them directly, uh, you could call them too. Instead of like getting a quote, uh, you could just talk to them instead. You can see their location on the map uh, if you click on this. And then under photos, oops. Yeah, under photos, uh, it shows some of the deck work they have done. So you can look at these photos if you want. And if I go to a profile, uh, it talks a bit about the company itself. So uh, they have a, sh a short uh, introduction kind of thing here that says uh, they have franchises in over 60 cities in Canada and stuff like that. You can see the categories, uh, the work they do. So they work only on decks. Now uh, you can see their products, their services, uh, the brands, uh, the year it was established, payment methods. So these people only accept check. So uh, that's something to look at too. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff you really want to look at before you actually hire these people. So there's warranty terms, which is 20 year lifetime warranties and stuff. And then there's their website link again. So I'm going to go back to reviews and go up. So you can see up here, there's get a quote. 
and write a review option. So if you want to get a quote, instead of like directly calling them, you can click on this option. And then you have to fill out a bunch of questions they'll ask. So uh, the first one is, what is the location of your project? So so I hit next and then it asked me what I want uh, done. So if it's a repair thing or you, if I want to install a new one, so uh, decor porch, build or replace. And then I hit next. It asked me what kind of a house I have, if it's a detached or a condo. So I'll just uh, go with detached. And when do you want to start this project? So uh, it's an emergency, which is kind of like right now or within a week, within two weeks. Uh, our time is flexible. So let's just go with time is flexible. Next, uh, some details about your project. So this is an optional step. It says right here. So if I just want, I could like just skip this one if I don't want to give any details. And then on and this is the second last step. Uh, where it asks for your name, your email address, uh, your address, and then, oops, your phone number. And once you hit submit, uh, your request is uh, submitted, and then you'll get an email on the email address you put here uh, that your request has been submitted for a quote, and uh, they'll get back to you shortly. And yeah, that's it. You're done. And now you have to wait for the company to contact you. So uh, that's how you go and get a quote. And uh, in this case, uh, there were only like four questions. Uh, before the presentation, I tried one and it had about 10 questions I had to answer. So it really depends on what company and what uh, work you want done. Uh, the number of questions uh, varies with each company. And they had a lot more questions they were asking. Like, I think I chose basement the last time. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so that's something you need to answer on your own, uh, depending on your need. And uh, that's it for home stars. So if I, I just type task rabbit, oops, oh my God. Yeah, task rabbit. And uh, I can see the website is right here. Uh, I could actually use this one, yeah. So this is what the task rabbit uh, website looks like. Uh, and when you open this website, it actually offers you a 10% discount on your first task. So uh, for this, you need to give your email address and need to hit the send me a discount option. So that's nice, I guess, a, a $10 discount. I'm just, I'm just going to close this for now and, and I'm also going to remove this. So uh, this is what the website looks like. Uh, you can change your location from the locations thing or you could view services from here. Uh, but the better way to do it would be from here directly. It says I need help with. So this is a search bar. So if I click on this uh, without actually typing anything, it shows all the services and with the average project costs too. So let's say uh, delivery average costs are between 26 to $39 and uh, uh, IKEA furniture assembly, <laughs> which is uh, between 62 to $147. Uh, so stuff like that. I just choose delivery right now. And it takes me to this page. So I need to fill out some questions again, like uh, enter street uh, street address. So I need to put my address. Um, and it also has this what to expect thing here. So uh, whether it's a single stop or many uh, uh, trusted taskers can help you get what you need. It's kind of like um, advertisement of sorts. Uh, so you put your start address, your end address, and the task options. Uh, basically, uh, what do you have to do? You have to fill out these questions so you can see there's numbers up here. So you're in task one right now. There are uh, three more tasks after this. So it says browse ta uh, taskers and price. So you can choose uh, someone to do the job for you. Uh, so there will, and there will be a list of people or companies and you can choose one of them. You can choose the date and time. So you'll have to enter the date and time of delivery. And then you have to come from details. So. Uh, uh, those are some steps you have to fill out, and uh, I am not going to fill them out right now. I apologize, but that's just going to start the task. So, uh, and you can also choose like different options uh, from here, or you could go up to services here, uh, click on services, and then you can see there's like different tasks, like featured tasks, handyman, and moving services. So there's delivery service, home repairs, uh, general cleaning. 
and basically uh, they don't have as many options, I think, uh, as, um, wait, no, no, yeah, they have uh, more options than Homestars does. Uh, and this also works in Canada too. So if you don't wanna use Homestars uh, because you can find the service there, uh, you can definitely, uh, definitely come to TaskRabbit and uh, choose a task from here too. And uh, here also you have to sign up and log in. So uh, there's a sign up and login option up here. Or you could also become a tasker, someone who does the jobs for other people, though uh, I don't think that's uh, relevant for uh, this presentation. So uh, I'll just show the sign up login thing. It says sign up or login if you click on that. Now there is no sign in the Google option. So you have to put your first last name, email address, password, and your zip code. So you know, if you enter your zip code, it actually personalizes the search results more because it knows your location. Uh, so if I put mine, it'll show stuff in Ottawa because that's where I live. And uh, yeah, that's about it for TaskRabbit 2. So thank you for listening in. Uh, if you'd like to learn this lesson with a mentor, please go to our website or call the number you see on the screen to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. And we also host weekly tech dropping sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Uh, on Thursdays, which is today. So that's already over. So yeah, thank you.